LCM or Least Common Multiple? Madali lang yan kapag susundin ninyo ang mga paraang ito. This time, let's talk about the least common multiple. Pag sinabi natin least common multiple, this is now the least number or the least dividend which is common to the numbers. Yung pwede mong i-divide sa kanilang um, mga given. Okay, para mas maliwanag, I'm going to show you the different methods and how to arrive at the answer. So, ito, 8, 4, and 6. Sa listing method, we're just going to list down all of the multiples. Pag sinabi natin multiples, yung pwede mang divide sa kanila. So, 8, just to skip counting. 8, 16, 24. Let's do um, the first 6 multiples. 5 to 6 multiples. 24, 32, 40, 48. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 6, 12, 18, 24. Ang goal natin dito, dapat makakahanap tayo ng pare-pareho sila. Yung unang number kung saan pare-pareho sila. So, parang meron na tayong nailista. Watch this. What's the first common multiple that they have? This is now 24. Okay? Therefore, the least common multiple of 8, 4, and 6 is 24. Another example. How about uh, 10, 5, and 6? Again, in the listing method, you're just going to list down the multiples, okay, 5 to 6 will do. Pero kung hindi pa ninyo nahanap, after 5 to 6 multiples, just go on listing. 15, 20, 25, 30. Parang may nakikita na tayong common sa kanila. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. Okay, so, we have found the first least common multiple of 10, 5, and 6, which is now 30. Okay, so the least common multiple is 30. Now let's go to the second method, which is prime factorization. If you are not still familiar with prime factorization, you may visit the link which is posted above. So, at ba itong prime factorization? Okay. Let's take the same set. We're going to list down all of the prime factors of each of the given numbers. Pag sinabi namin prime number, um, this is a number which has only two factors, one and itself. Okay, so the prime factors of 8 are 2, 2, and 2. Prime factors of 4 are 2, and 2, okay. dapat ilagay sa same column yung magkakaparehong numbers. So, 6, 2, and 3. Ilalagay ko dito yung 3 dahil wala siyang kapareha o kapareho. So, we're just going to bring them all down. 2 times 2 per column tayo times 2 times 3. Okay. And then, 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 3 is... 24. Did we get the same number nung nakuha natin sa listing method? Di ba same? Okay. So that is prime factorization. Another another example. Um, medyo mas mataas naman tayo ngayon. Um, we have 20, 15, and uh, 8. Okay. So, list down again. All of the prime factors of each of the given number. 15. Dapat sa katamang column, ha? And then 8. 2. 2. And 2. 
and then let us bring them all down to times 5 times 2 times 3 times 2 so 2 times 5 10 times 2 20 times 3 60 times 2 is 120 now you may be asking can we do mental math in finding for the least common multiple well of course we can as long as you are sure that you are really very familiar with the multiplication tables so just think about a dividend or a number which you can divide by each of the three of them you choose the least so if you are a pro already you may think about this number so meron pa bang mas mababa dito na makaka-divide sa kanilang tatlo parang wala na no so the least common multiple is 24. 24 divided by 6 is 4. 24 divided by 8 is 3. 24 divided by 12 is 2. Another example, how about uh, 7, 6, and 2? Okay? So, using mental math, you just think of a number the least number which you can divide by the three of them and 42 is the list meron pa bang mas mababa dyan? wala na so 42 divided by 7 is 6 42 divided by 6 is 7 42 divided by 2 is 21 therefore the least common multiple is 42 that's it for today. Watch out for more maths and English lessons. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell button for more updates. Thank you and God bless.